Boxers, briefs, or nothing at all. At which point in the day? <laughs> you might know Steven Spielberg as an Academy Award winning director, but behind the scenes, he is not a good person. According to Tom Cruise and Julia Roberts, especially Julia Roberts, who rarely speaks out, she chose to speak about this to let us know just how dark and twisted Steven Silver is. From his creepy relationship with Roman Polanski to his insistence for a 12-year-old to have relations with a 25-year-old, here is the brutal evidence that has been dropped against Steven Silver. The Breakdown, Love, Scientology, and a Career Rift the roots of their Tom and Stephen falling out go back to 2005, a pivotal year for Cruz, both personally and professionally. He had just started dating actress Katie Holmes, and his devotion to Scientology reached a new fervor. Cruz's enthusiastic promotion of both his romantic relationship and his religion began to take priority over his film career, leading to tension between him and Spielberg. While filming War of the Worlds, Cruz's attention appeared to be elsewhere, particularly as he became the poster child for Scientology's controversial views. Spielberg, a director known for his meticulous attention to detail, was reportedly frustrated by Cruz's distractions, especially as the actor began using his celebrity to publicly champion Scientology's ideals. Spielberg felt sidelined, with the film's promotion overshadowed by Cruz's off-screen antics. This tension came to a head when Cruz's intense focus on his personal life and faith began to impact the film's marketing. Sources have suggested that this shift in priorities ultimately led to a rift between the two, a chasm that would take nearly two decades to bridge. Despite their emotional reunion at the Oscars luncheon, the underlying issues that led to their estrangement still remain a key chapter in Cruz's life. In May 2005, Tom Cruise made headlines not for a film role, but for his infamous appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show, where he famously jumped on her couch to declare his love for Katie Holmes. The spontaneous display of affection became a viral sensation, but it was only the tip of the iceberg when it came to Cruise's increasingly unpredictable public behavior. At the time, Cruz was a staunch advocate for Scientology, and his views on mental health became a hot topic of discussion. In a highly publicized interview with Today Show host Matt Lauer, Cruz dismissed the effectiveness of psychiatric medication, particularly criticizing actress Brooke Shields for using antidepressants to treat postpartum depression. Cruz, aligning with Scientology's disdain for psychiatry, stated, there is no such thing as a chemical imbalance, a statement that ignited backlash from the medical community and the public alike. Cruz's outspoken criticism of psychiatry, especially his feud with Lauer, marked a turning point in his public image. During the Today Show interview, Cruz aggressively denounced medications like Ritalin, which is commonly prescribed to treat ADHD. His heated exchange with Lauer turned into a spectacle, with the actor delivering a firm stance on the dangers of psychiatric medications, insisting, you don't even know what Ritalin is. This outspoken defense of Scientology's anti-psychiatry stance led to a backlash that rippled through both Hollywood and the general public. Many began to view Cruz not just as a talented actor, but as an advocate for controversial beliefs that many found difficult to accept. The public relations fallout was immense, with his reputation suffering in the years that followed. Cruz's vocal opposition to psychiatry was met with widespread backlash. While his criticisms of psychiatric medications aligned with his religious beliefs, they did not resonate with the general public, and many felt his approach was too extreme. The controversy reached a tipping point when Kim Masters revealed that Spielberg was particularly angered by Cruz's stance because he knew children who had benefited from Ritalin, a medication Cruz vehemently opposed. The final straw came when a group of Scientologists picketed the office of the doctor Spielberg had mentioned to Cruz. Although Cruz denied any involvement, the damage was done, 
Spielberg's anger and disappointment were shared by his wife, Kate Capshaw, and the incident drove a wedge between them that would never fully heal. Their once strong relationship was shattered, and despite Cruz's efforts to apologize, including inviting Spielberg to his wedding, their friendship was never the same. Fallout with Spielberg and War of the Worlds Amidst all this chaos, Spielberg was working to release War of the Worlds, a film that had the potential to be one of the biggest blockbusters of the year. Yet, Cruz's off-screen behavior, particularly his public crusade against psychiatry, cast a shadow over the film's promotion. Kim Masters reported at the time that Spielberg believed Cruz's behavior had directly impacted the film's box office performance, estimating a potential loss of $30 million in revenue. While War of the Worlds did eventually grow $603 million worldwide, the tension between Cruz and Spielberg remained. Masters noted that the strain on their relationship became palpable, and what had once been a dynamic working partnership dissolved into a cold war of sorts. Spielberg, ever the diplomat, did not publicly address the matter at the time, but the fallout was unmistakable. In an explosive revelation, reports have surfaced about the severe tension between Tom Cruise and Steven Spielberg. Sources, including Page Six, revealed that Spielberg became furious with Cruz over an incident involving psychiatric medication, a subject that Cruz, staunchly aligned with Scientology, has long been vocal about. The turning point came when Spielberg mentioned a doctor who prescribed Ritalin during a casual conversation with Cruz. Unbeknownst to the director, this doctor happened to be a friend of his. Shortly after this chat, the doctor's office was targeted by a protest organized by Scientologists. Though Cruz reportedly denied any involvement in the protests, Spielberg and his wife, Kate Capshaw, were both infuriated. The fallout wasn't just professional, it was deeply personal. Capshaw, in particular, felt betrayed, and the couple waited in vain for an explanation from Cruz that never came. According to Kim Masters' report in a 2006 Slate article, Spielberg and his wife were left feeling blindsided by Cruz's actions, and the rift between the actor and director deepened, despite Cruz's later attempts at reconciliation, including inviting Spielberg to his lavish 2006 wedding to Katie Holmes. The tension lingered long after War of the Worlds hit theaters in 2005, marking the last time Cruz and Spielberg worked together. Despite the box office success of their previous collaborations, including Minority Report, the pair never reunited for another project. Cruz's burgeoning devotion to Scientology, coupled with his increasingly controversial public persona, created an ever-growing divide. By 2011, Gawker was claiming that the industry's perception of Cruz had shifted dramatically. His dedication to Scientology his high-profile divorce from Katie Holmes and a strained relationship with his daughter Suri further alienated him from some of Hollywood's most influential figures. While Cruz continued to dominate the box office with his Mission Impossible franchise, his personal controversies, particularly his entanglement with Scientology, had a lasting impact on his relationships within the industry, including his fractured friendship with Spielberg. Julia Roberts' role in the Spielberg feud. Meanwhile, Julia Roberts has found herself at the center of renewed tension with Spielberg. The two Hollywood titans have had a strained relationship that dates back decades. Their animosity can be traced to the production of Hook in 1991, when Roberts was struggling with personal issues, including her tumultuous relationship with Flatliners co-star Kiefer Sutherland. The pair had been engaged, but Roberts discovered Sutherland's infidelity just before they were set to marry. The highly publicized split affected her emotionally, and Spielberg took notice, allegedly criticizing her work ethic and professionalism on set. In a 60 Minutes interview, Spielberg admitted that working with Roberts during that time was difficult. It was not a great time for Julia and I to be working together, Spielberg said reflecting on the stress, both personal and professional, that clouded the production of Hook. Roberts, who confided in Spielberg during filming, was devastated by his public remarks, which she interpreted as a betrayal. 
Julia Roberts did not take Spielberg's comments lightly. In an interview with Vanity Fair, she expressed her disappointment, accusing Spielberg of failing to defend her when rumors began to circulate about her being difficult to work with. Roberts called him a turncoat for not standing up for her, especially since she believed she had been transparent with him about her personal struggles at the time. She felt blindsided by his remarks, which she claimed were hurtful and inaccurate. In another interview, Roberts revisited her experience with Spielberg, doubling down on her accusations. She stated, Spielberg seemed to have a vague and unreliable memory of what really happened on that set. Her frustration with him was palpable, and their relationship remained strained for years after the production of Hook wrapped. Fast forward to recent events, and Julia Roberts once again made headlines by stirring the pot regarding her old feud with Spielberg. This time, the scandal involved rumors that began circulating after a Manhattan court released a list of names tied to disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein. Although Spielberg was rumored to be connected to Epstein's network, there has been no official evidence to confirm his involvement in any wrongdoing. Despite this, speculation has continued to swirl. In early 2023, new court documents emerged that reignited conversations about Epstein's high-profile associates. Spielberg's name, alongside other prominent figures, appeared once again, fueling online debates. Some fans were shocked at the possibility of Spielberg's ties to Epstein, while others remained skeptical about the validity of the claims. The rumors eventually died down until Julia Roberts resurfaced, sparking fresh discussions with her comments about her former collaborator. The re-emergence of this controversy reveals the complexity of power dynamics in Hollywood. Julia Roberts' willingness to address the tension between her and Spielberg shows that even the industry's brightest stars aren't immune to personal feuds and betrayals. With allegations and rumors hanging in the air, both Spielberg and Roberts have been thrust back into the spotlight. Spielberg, whose reputation as Hollywood's golden boy has remained relatively unscathed for years, now faces scrutiny once again. While Roberts has largely remained quiet on this issue, her decision to bring up their past conflict during such a sensitive time suggests unresolved issues between the two. For Spielberg, the revival of these old tensions presents new challenges, as the world watches to see if the Epstein rumors will continue to resurface or fade into the background. Julia Roberts' comments on Spielberg's Epstein allegations. When Julia Roberts was asked about her opinion on Steven Spielberg's alleged connection to Jeffrey Epstein. Journalists, eager for the scoop, pounced on the opportunity to hear what Roberts had to say. Without hesitation, Roberts expressed her concerns, suggesting that Spielberg might harbor some dark, unsettling interests. While she didn't go into specifics, her comments stirred a frenzy in both the media and among fans, leaving many wondering about Spielberg's connection to the infamous Epstein network. Although these rumors have never been substantiated with evidence, Roberts's remarks reignited the conversation. The fact that Epstein's name could be linked to such a powerful figure in Hollywood cast a shadow of doubt, and Spielberg's fans were left questioning the man behind some of their favorite films. As the Epstein conversation lingered, another controversy surfaced involving Spielberg's past work. Troubling documents from the early production days of Indiana Jones were unearthed, revealing disturbing discussions between Spielberg, George Lucas, and screenwriter Lawrence Kasdan. The trio, tasked with developing the iconic character of Indiana Jones, engaged in a conversation about a potential love interest for the adventurer. However, the details of that discussion raised more than a few eyebrows. According to the pre-production meeting notes, Lucas suggested that Indiana Jones could have had a relationship with a young girl years earlier, when she was only 11. He envisioned the character as having been a mentor to her when she was a child and then having an affair with her when she was still underage. Kasdan and Spielberg contributed to the discussion, debating how young the female character should be and how their relationship should be portrayed on screen. 
Lucas added unsettling comments about the character being around 22 when the film takes place, implying a highly inappropriate relationship in the character's past. One of the most alarming moments in these notes is a comment by Spielberg where he suggests, she had better be older than 22. Lucas responds with, he's 35 and he knew her 10 years ago when he was 25 and she was only 12. The conversation continued with the trio, considering how to make the character's past relationship edgier. They even debated having the female character actively pursue Indiana Jones, trying to justify the disturbing age difference by suggesting she could be older, perhaps 15, but no more than that. The idea was floated to make her a more aggressive participant in the relationship, framing the young girl as the one initiating the romance. The back and forth between Spielberg, Lucas, and Kasdan revealed a shockingly cavalier attitude toward the idea of an underage girl being romantically involved with an older man. While these were simply brainstorming sessions, the details of their conversation left many fans and critics deeply uncomfortable. Steven Spielberg, known for his family-friendly films and legendary status in the film industry, had never been embroiled in a scandal of this magnitude before. While he has never addressed these notes publicly, the resurfacing of the documents challenged the wholesome image that Spielberg has cultivated over the years. His association with George Lucas and Lawrence Kasdan during this troubling conversation also painted them in a negative light. For Spielberg, these revelations came at a time when he was already dealing with rumors about his possible involvement with Jeffrey Epstein. Although no direct connection between Spielberg and Epstein has ever been confirmed, the whispers were enough to raise questions about the people Spielberg associated with, and the resurfaced Indiana Jones notes didn't help his case. When these pre-production notes resurfaced years later, fans of the Indiana Jones franchise were horrified. The idea that one of their favorite movie heroes might have been involved in such a controversial storyline was too much for many to bear. Social media was quickly flooded with reactions, with fans expressing their disbelief that such a plotline could have even been considered. The conversation led to a broader discussion about how Hollywood has historically portrayed inappropriate relationships, often under the guise of making a film more edgy. The thought of a 15-year-old being in a relationship with a much older man was particularly disturbing to modern audiences. The reaction was swift, with many condemning not only the idea, but also the broader culture of Hollywood, which has long been criticized for its treatment of women and minors. While some people tried to dismiss the notes as nothing more than brainstorming or artistic freedom, Others pointed out that films often reflect societal attitudes, and these conversations hinted at a more problematic undercurrent in the industry. Julia Roberts and Spielberg's tumultuous history The scandals involving Spielberg didn't stop with the Epstein rumors and the resurfaced Indiana Jones notes. Julia Roberts, who had her own history of disagreements with Spielberg, also found herself pulled into the fray. Their notorious fallout dated back to the early 90s, when Roberts was cast as Tinkerbell in Spielberg's Hook. The actress was going through personal turmoil at the time, including a highly publicized breakup with her then-fiancé, Kiefer Sutherland. This emotional stress took a toll on her behavior on set, leading to tension with Spielberg. Spielberg later spoke about the difficulties of working with Roberts, and while his comments were measured, Roberts took them personally. In interviews, she expressed her disappointment that Spielberg hadn't supported her during a tough time, going as far as to call him out for being unsympathetic to her situation. Fast forward to recent years, and it seems the unresolved tension between Roberts and Spielberg has once again come to the forefront. When asked about Spielberg's name popping up in the Epstein controversy, Roberts didn't hold back, hinting at her discomfort with Spielberg's alleged associations. While she didn't provide explicit details, her cryptic comments fueled speculation that their relationship had never fully healed. These scandals, combined with Roberts' own remarks, paint a picture of an industry where long-held grudges and unresolved personal conflicts can quickly become public scandals.
For Spielberg, the combination of these issues has cast a long shadow over his once untouchable reputation. Rumors surrounding Steven Spielberg's interactions with young actors have raised concerns, particularly in connection to Ariana Richards, the young actress who starred in Jurassic Park. Allegations suggest that Spielberg behaved inappropriately towards Richards while working on the film. According to various sources, Spielberg allegedly dismissed her caregiver during their time at a hotel, stating that he wanted to work on lines with her privately. These accounts claim that this was just the beginning of a series of troubling encounters between the director and the actress. While Richards has largely avoided public discussions about these alleged incidents, she stepped away from Hollywood not long after Jurassic Park. Richards pursued a career in painting, perhaps as a way to find peace after what she may have experienced during her time in the industry. In her own words, she finds solace in painting portraits, which allows her to express herself creatively. Many believe that Richard's departure from acting was influenced by her negative experiences in Hollywood, where industry gatekeepers like Spielberg should have offered more protection to young stars. These suspicions were heightened by Richard's decision to avoid giving interviews or talking about her time in Jurassic Park, reinforcing the notion that something troubling may have occurred behind the scenes. Richard's experience is often compared to those of other young actors and actresses in Hollywood who faced similar challenges, including being subjected to inappropriate behavior by powerful figures in the industry. Spielberg's Connection to Roman Polanski Spielberg's reputation is further questioned due to his close association with Roman Polanski, a director with a well-known history of legal troubles and controversial behavior involving minors. While the details of Spielberg's friendship with Polanski remain unclear, their association has raised eyebrows, particularly given Polanski's past. In 1977, Roman Polanski was arrested and charged in Los Angeles for several offenses involving a minor, including unlawful relations with a 13-year-old. Polanski later accepted a plea deal, admitting to engaging in inappropriate behavior with the minor, but he fled the United States before he could be sentenced. Since then, Polanski has lived mostly in France, avoiding countries where he might face extradition to the U.S. Polanski's legal case involved a young girl named Samantha Gailey, now Geimer, whose mother had agreed to let Polanski photograph her daughter for a magazine. According to Geimer's testimony, the initial photo shoot left her feeling uncomfortable, but she reluctantly agreed to a second session. This session took place at the home of actor Jack Nicholson while he was out of town. Geimer later testified that Polanski offered her alcohol and placed her in situations that made her uneasy. Despite her repeated attempts to refuse, Geimer found herself in a situation where she felt powerless. In later interviews, Geimer recounted how she tried to resist but ultimately feared the consequences of making a scene. After pleading guilty to the charges, Polanski underwent a court-ordered psychiatric evaluation and was placed on probation. However, just before his sentencing, Polanski fled the United States, avoiding any further legal consequences. He has since continued working in the film industry, primarily in Europe, and has managed to avoid extradition despite ongoing efforts to bring him back to face sentencing. The controversy surrounding Polanski has been a major topic in Hollywood for decades. His escape from justice and the accusations against him have led many to question the industry's ability to protect young actors and actresses. Spielberg's friendship with Polanski, while not directly linked to these events, raises further questions about the people Spielberg surrounded himself with during his career. As more information about Spielberg's past behavior and associations comes to light, it has become clear that even the most revered figures in Hollywood are not immune to controversy. Spielberg, who has long been celebrated for his contributions to cinema, now finds himself under the microscope, with fans and critics alike questioning his relationships with young actors and other controversial figures, such as Roman Polanski. While no concrete evidence has linked Spielberg to any specific wrongdoing, the resurfacing of these rumors and discussions about young characters has cast a shadow over his career.
As more details emerge, it becomes harder for fans to ignore the uncomfortable realities of the film industry and the people who have shaped it over the years. Industry Scandals and the Experiences of Thandiwe Newton In discussing the darker side of the entertainment industry, many fans believe that certain behaviors might have been more widespread among directors and executives in the past. One example that supports this suspicion is Thandiwe Newton's account of her early experiences in Hollywood. Newton, known for her roles in Westworld and Line of Duty, has openly spoken about being objectified at a young age when she first started in the industry. Newton revealed that, as a 16-year-old fresh out of boarding school, she experienced objectification and manipulation on the infamous casting couch. During an interview, she recalled how vulnerable she was at the time, especially as her father was out of the country, leaving her alone. She was subjected to a situation where she felt paralyzed with fear and unable to defend herself. This manipulation had a lasting impact on her as she described being psychologically worn down over weeks. One of the more disturbing incidents Newton recounted involved an audition at a studio. The director in charge asked her to sit in an uncomfortable manner, positioning the camera in a way that made her uneasy. She was instructed to place her leg over the arm of the chair while pretending to engage in an intimate conversation with a character. Newton, still very young and inexperienced, thought that this might be a standard practice in Hollywood, unaware of how inappropriate the situation truly was. Years later, Newton encountered the same director at the Cannes Film Festival and noticed his strange behavior towards her. Curious, she began to dig deeper and eventually discovered the unsettling truth. This director had been secretly recording audition tapes and sharing them with others. These tapes were shown to private audiences at his home, exposing a hidden practice that left Newton deeply disturbed. Throughout her career, Newton has been an outspoken advocate for exposing the systemic problems of exploitation and prejudice within the entertainment industry. She has courageously shared her own experiences, particularly those from her early days, to highlight the difficulties many young actors face. She has consistently raised awareness about the need for accountability, stressing that it is not only the victim's responsibility to speak up, but also those around them who witness these events. In an interview with British Vogue, Newton opened up about the profound psychological impact these incidents had on her. She described how they derailed her sense of self, leading to long-term emotional and physical scars. Newton explained that her experiences triggered a form of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, leaving her traumatized and distraught. She was particularly horrified by how easily directors could manipulate young actresses and how often such practices went unnoticed or unchallenged. In the aftermath of these troubling experiences, Newton found herself struggling with an eating disorder, a response to the trauma she endured. She revealed that controlling her food intake became a way to cope as she sought to regain a sense of control over her life and body. The deep emotional scars left by her experiences in the industry drove her to punish herself in an attempt to reconnect with her inner self. Newton's courage in sharing these personal struggles has brought much needed attention to the broader issues of mistreatment in Hollywood. Her revelations offer a stark reminder of the hidden dangers young actors face in the entertainment world, particularly when entering an industry where power dynamics are often misused. These accounts, alongside others from prominent figures in Hollywood, continue to shed light on the need for systemic change. Tom Cruise's Involvement in Industry Scandals While Newton's experience shines a light on the broader culture of Hollywood, Tom Cruise's name has frequently been associated with controversies and scandals, particularly regarding his personal life and his relationships with industry power players like Steven Spielberg. The dynamics between Cruz, Spielberg, and Julia Roberts are part of a complex chapter in Cruz's life, one that involved professional conflicts and intense public scrutiny. In the early 2000s, Cruz was heavily promoting his involvement with Scientology, 
a religious organization known for its controversial stance on various societal issues. His public behavior during this time, including his infamous appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show, where he enthusiastically professed his love for Katie Holmes, drew significant media attention. However, it was Cruz's outspoken views on Scientology, particularly his criticism of psychiatry, that created a rift with Spielberg. The experiences of actors like Thandie Wayne Newton, Tom Cruise, and Julia Roberts highlight a broader issue within the entertainment industry the exploitation of power dynamics by influential figures. Whether through inappropriate behavior, as in Newton's case, or professional conflicts, as seen with Cruz and Spielberg, the industry has a long history of struggles related to these dynamics. These revelations serve as a reminder that Hollywood, often seen as a place of glam and success, has a much darker undercurrent. The power wielded by directors, producers, and other key players in the industry can lead to harmful behavior, especially when it goes unchecked. For many actors, navigating this environment requires constant vigilance as they balance their careers with the often hidden dangers lurking behind the scenes. Allegations Surrounding Steven Spielberg when it comes to Hollywood controversies, Steven Spielberg's name has surfaced in connection with unsettling accusations, though he hasn't faced any direct legal consequences. One significant moment came in 2003 when actor Crispin Glover, best known for his role as George McFly in Back to the Future, released a book and film where he hinted at troubling themes in Spielberg's work. Glover suggested that Spielberg's portrayal of young boys in compromising or odd situations might point to more personal inclinations. While these are just speculations, fans and critics have analyzed certain scenes in Spielberg's films, especially from the 1985 classic The Goonies. A notable scene in the movie depicts a young boy reattaching a broken part of a statue, sparking debates about why such suggestive imagery was included in a family-friendly film. Many wondered why, out of all potential comedic moments, the broken part of the statue was depicted the way it was, leading to discomfort among some viewers. Glover and others believe this subtle depiction reflects the blurred lines between a creator's work and their personal life. These conversations highlight the broader issue of protecting vulnerable individuals within Hollywood, particularly young actors who may find themselves in uncomfortable situations on set. Figures like Jennifer Lawrence and Ariana Grande have publicly advocated for stronger protections for those working in the industry. Lawrence, in particular, has stressed the importance of creating safe environments for human beings, arguing that if there are protections in place for animals during filming, similar precautions should be extended to people. Lawrence's stance reflects the growing awareness of how prevalent mistreatment can be in the entertainment industry. She emphasizes that addressing these issues should happen proactively before any harm can occur, rather than reacting after a scandal comes to light. Hollywood's reputation as a place where young talents are often exploited for the benefit of powerful individuals highlights the need for such legal protections. One of the challenges in addressing these issues is the way public perception is shaped by wealth, fame, and influence. When accusations surface against high-profile figures like Spielberg, victims often face an uphill battle in telling their stories. Those accused are sometimes able to manipulate the narrative, painting victims as opportunists seeking financial gain or attention. This not only skews public opinion, but also makes it more difficult for the victim to speak out, fearing that they won't be believed. The public's reluctance to believe allegations against beloved figures is common, especially when these individuals have crafted a positive public image over decades. This dynamic can discourage victims from stepping forward, knowing the potential backlash and disbelief they might face. As a result, many remain silent, often carrying the weight of their experiences privately, which can lead to long-term emotional trauma. Though Spielberg has never been legally implicated in these rumors, his conduct has persisted in certain circles within Hollywood. Some insiders have privately expressed concerns about his behavior, though no formal accusations have been made public. 
One anonymous source, writing in 1993, recalled a friend who worked at Universal Studios and harbored deep disdain for Spielberg, referring to him in a derogatory manner related to his alleged interest in minors. The source expressed confusion at the time, having never heard anything to substantiate such claims. However, over the years, more people have come forward to raise questions, adding fuel to the speculation. Despite the lack of direct legal action against Spielberg, the fact that his name has come up in connection with troubling figures like Jeffrey Epstein has only intensified the scrutiny. While no concrete evidence has tied Spielberg to Epstein's activities, his name appearing on Epstein's alleged list has sparked further controversy, leading to increased whispers about what might happen next. The Epstein scandal rocked the world of the elite, with many prominent figures being named in connection to the disgraced financier. Spielberg's name is one of those that reportedly appeared on lists connected to Epstein's network, raising serious questions about the extent of his involvement, if any. The presence of his name on such a list, whether conclusive or not, has only fueled the rumors about his behavior and potential ties to darker elements within high society. Many believe that it is only a matter of time before these rumors come to a head, with someone eventually stepping forward to bring formal accusations against Spielberg. While he continues to maintain a strong public presence in Hollywood, with no legal action taken thus far, the ongoing controversies surrounding Epstein and the larger scandal involving exploitation within elite circles remain a cloud over his legacy. In the face of these disturbing allegations, advocacy for the protection of vulnerable individuals in Hollywood has taken on greater importance. Lawrence's comments about the need for legal safeguards reflect a growing sentiment that the industry must do more to ensure the safety and well-being of its actors, especially younger and less experienced ones. Many believe that early intervention is key, preventing potential harm before it occurs rather than waiting for another scandal to erupt. The lack of direct action against powerful figures like Spielberg, coupled with the widespread belief that some of Hollywood's biggest names have gotten away with inappropriate behavior for years, highlights the importance of ongoing reform within the industry. Public pressure and advocacy can help shift the balance of power, making it easier for victims to speak out without fear of being dismissed or vilified. 